Hey everybody, it's Chris Loud. Today I'm going to do a demo of an abstract painting where I add cardboard to create texture and interest and to enhance the overall look of the artwork. I'll show you how I remove the top layer of cardboard uh, in order to expose the ribbed area. Um, and at the end of the video, I'll show you two different versions of this painting, and I would love to get your feedback on which one you think works better. Um, with that said, there are many times when I was painting this that I felt I could have stopped and the painting would have worked. Uh, so I'm, I'm doing this on a, um, a piece of gessoed 8 by 8 inch or 20.3 by 20.3 centimeter cradled wood panel. I started by clearing off my palette. Uh, from a previous painting and just put a mix of colors as the base and now I'm using Prussian blue and titanium white to just start getting um, another layer of, of paint down before I start working on the cardboard. So here I'm finding the cardboard. Um, this is actually just uh, top of a pizza box. I'm sketching out kind of the shape that I wanted to use and now I am applying a little bit of water with a paintbrush um, over the area that I want to peel away the surface um, just to let it soak and, and loosen the glue that kind of holds the two pieces together. While that, I, while I put that aside and, and while that was kind of soaking, I started scratching into the paint a little bit. Uh, and now I'm gonna go ahead and start peeling this back. And I'm just using a fork. Um, just the tines of a fork to start sliding down and pulling the, the uh, loose pieces away. Now I wanted the, um, this to be kind of rough um, so I didn't um, do anything on the sides of this to, to make it real easy to um, just kind of strip it away right to a fine line. Um, if I was doing that I would have taken an exacto knife or some kind of blade and cut along the sketch that I made um, just lightly, just enough to uh, kind of give me that stopping point. So when I'm peeling this layer of cardboard away, it just comes right to that point and just strips off. Um, but as you can see, it's a little rough. I'm having to tear some of that, um, some of those pieces off. And, and uh, that's kind of the look I was going for. And now I'm just using an X-Acto knife to kind of cut that piece out. Um, and then, you know, figure out what I'm going to do with it, where I'm going to place it on the, uh, on the wood panel. So at this point I'm just kind of playing a little bit, kind of moving around. But I had an idea I wanted the thicker portion at the top and have it kind of tapering down. And so that's what I'm kind of looking at there. And it's interesting because when I um, put this down, it actually kind of looked like it was inset into the wood um, uh, in the video. In reality, when I'm looking at it, it actually did look like it was kind of just sitting on top of, of the uh, canvas panel, but uh, definitely gave it kind of a cool look. The one thing I like to do um, when I'm doing um, cardboard is I try and flatten it a little bit so it's not raised too much off of the off the panel or, or canvas. So I just took a brayer and, and uh, rolled over that and put a little pressure and kind of flattened it a little bit. Now I'm just applying a little bit of acrylic medium um, to uh, fix that to the, to the panel. And again, just kind of rolling over it to, uh, to uh, get any air bubbles out and kind of seal that down. And I had a little gap at the bottom. I was kind of debating whether or not I wanted to, to fill that or, or leave it. And I ended up deciding to just leave that. I kind of liked that it didn't go all the way to the other edge. But I really enjoy painting on wood panels like this. Um, I just I love the feel of the paint gliding across the surface as well as the sounds of, of painting on and and scraping into the paint and over the wood. I think it's a very different experience than painting on paper or canvas. I mean, you can get you can get the same result for the most part, um, but uh, I really enjoy painting on on these panels. I'll put a link in the description um, for the wood panels um, 
and then I'll, I'll also put a, a link for the um, GAC or GAC 100 um, that I treated the surface with. Um, that way it, the, the paint does not just soak right into the wood or anything. Um, and I also use that for, for other things as well. But as, as you can see right now, I'm, I'm just kind of playing and figuring out, okay, what, what colors am I going to add to this? I, I did like some of the colors that uh, I put down initially when I, when I cleared my palette um, and that were showing through. So I did add a little bit more magenta, um, light magenta mixed with some of the Prussian blue and, and uh, titanium white. And although I really did like the, the look of the cardboard just plain on there, um, my intent was to um, paint that cardboard so I'm going in and again just kind of kind of feeling my way through this so overall this was an intuitive and expressive painting um, I had a general idea for the shape of the cardboard that I wanted to use but otherwise I just started putting paint down and reacting what I what I was seeing um, I spent a, actually a couple of days on and off painting um, on this just kind of picking it up and, and painting a little bit um, because since I was using thicker paint, um, I had to let it dry a little bit longer and I didn't want to stand there with a hair dryer for, for too long trying to, to get all that, uh, dried. So I would paint and put it aside for a little bit and then come back. And that's why we, you'll see that the, the surface I'm painting on sometimes changes a little bit, um, just based on what I've been doing that day. So I wasn't real thrilled with the, uh, kind of, uh, violet color that was that was on there so um, I started applying some light olive green um, I thought that would give a good contrast to the to the darker um, Prussian, Prussian blue and again just um, you know kind of feeling my way through this I, I, I did want some of that light magenta uh, mix in there um, so just kind of continuing to really just apply And like I said before, this this really did. I mean, there were different points in this painting where I, I looked at it and thought, you know, I could I could stop here. I mean, I, I, I like the look of it. Um, overall, I didn't feel like it was a it was complete. And I it, for that matter, I don't know if it's complete now. I mean, I'll show you the the two versions at the end. Um, one that I kind of finished when I was um, recording this, and then I came back and and um, tried to simplify it a little bit. And I honestly, you know, I'm still kind of torn. I'm not sure. Uh, which one of those that I prefer uh, and um, if I will come back in and, and play a little bit more but uh, I, I did have a, a great time playing with this one it, it, it did kind of veer off in some some unexpected directions I think So with that, with that said, let me know at the end. Um, let me know in the comments if, if uh, which which of the two versions at the end that you feel works best, or if or for that matter, if there was a point earlier in, in here uh, where you saw something that you think looked looked better. So I scratched into the wood surface after the paint was dry, um, and now I added a little bit of bright aqua green. Um, again, just trying to create a little bit more character um, to the to the. Uh, the paint and and, uh, and a little bit more texture and just kind of flipping it around looking at different angles um, and continuing to paint but um, like I said you know I was having so much fun applying different colors and just kind of exploring and seeing where where this might take me um, but at this point I, I was starting to feel a little lost um, I did like a lot of the colors that were on there, but I wasn't sure if I really wanted to keep keep those or what, what I was doing. So just kind of uh, feeling my way through this one at this point. And I have that big white kind of circular area and, and decided that, that just was kind of pulling the, the focus directly to that and uh, away from kind of the cardboard area that I was wanting as focus. So at this point, I started feeling like I had a little bit clearer direction, um, but I thought I'm gonna try and put some a little bit of dried acrylic paint that I'd peeled off my palette 
on there. And part of that was just there was a little bit of a lip uh, from the paint on the on the panel and the cardboard itself. So I thought I would I would add this and fill it in and uh, maybe paint over it. And at this point, I started looking at that, thinking I, I kind of like that little bit of color that's peeking through. So uh, I grabbed some more some more dried acrylic paint um, that I had sitting sitting. Uh, in a little tray and started adding more of that with with the understanding if I didn't like the the way that the colors were were interacting with the rest of the painting that I could paint over it and it would help um, create some texture some more texture on this but as I added some more splashes of color it, again it kind of took it in a little bit of a different direction but I was was liking uh, the look with with a little bit more color on this and you'll see I'll here in a minute that uh, uh, there's a lot more color that that shows up in this painting uh, with with that dried acrylic paint and as I'm, I'm looking at this I'm thinking yeah there's there's just so much to like about adding a variety of colors like this and what you can't really probably tell in the video as well is that this was adding so much texture because some of this dried acrylic paint that paint that I peeled off was was pretty thick and it had some you know kind of clumps in there and, and uh, I was really liking the, the look of that but again you know I'm, I'm also thinking how much is this competing with the cardboard uh, and then I put this piece of orange down and I really liked it um, and I, I add a little bit more of that um, kind of down in the corner to give a little harmony so coming up here I'm going to show you the final version of this right here and I'll show you some different orientations of it um, so this is the the first one what do you think of this one and then I'll show you the second one so if you like this video feel free to give it a thumbs up here's the second version and if you want to see more videos like this feel free to subscribe Let me know in the comments what you think. Thanks for watching and keep on painting.